Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to change the oil on a power washer. This power washer is a Briggs & Stratton Elite Series, um, 2900 PSI. But if you actually look at the pump, it lies and it's... Um, it's, three, it's 3000 PSI. So, I'm, today I'm going to show you how to change oil. All you need is your new oil. All you need is your new oil. I run Castor GTX 10W30 in all my stuff. And I've never had a problem. As well, um, you need a this power washer. It's a 7 16th wrench. And you need an oil, you need a bucket to put your oil on. So the bucket's right under here. And what's right underneath the power washer, and there's conveniently a spot where you can see if. Yeah, the oil drain plug is right there. Let's see if I can get a better angle at this. Sorry. Right here. So you put the. Never mind, it's maybe a 3 8. But if it's a 3 8, then you just turn the 7 16 wrench around. Cut that out pretty good. One sec, I'm getting ready, right? There we go. See the oil drain plug is clean. And if you want, crack one of these, or crack both oil drain things open. So again, you let the rest of the oil drain out. So then, you tighten that, you tighten your oil drain plug up all the way. If I can even get the friggin' wrench on it. It's important to change the oil in the engine because after a while, um, the oil degrades, then the oil stops doing its purpose, and that purpose is lubricating the cylinder, the piston in the cylinder, the valve train, along with the crankshaft, the connecting rod, and all that. If you don't change oil, then what can happen is the engine could overheat and seize up, or parts will wear out and the engine will smoke. So, if you look on the engine, there's an oil plug right there, and there's one on the other side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slowly add the oil. I'm going to slowly add the oil until it starts coming out the other hole. And you have to park the power washer on a level surface. And not spill it all over the engine. I'm going to have to add some more oil to get a smaller jug. Just be a second.
now I can start to see the oil in the hole. And there it is, you can see the oil at the hole. Now you just put your drain plugs back in. But now you just put your oil cap plugs back in, and you're done. Simple as that, it only took about five minutes. Okay, just remember to subscribe, and rate my videos, thanks.